All right, video number two of the day. Um, I just got fired from fucking Chili's. Um, actually, no, let me rephrase that. She refused to fire me. So, start from the beginning. I called up work today because I'm scheduled, was scheduled at 4 p.m. 4.30. Nobody told me that I needed to be vaccinated. Nobody told me that, hey, you know, if you're not, you need to wear a mask the whole shift. And my, my boss, Kim, at Chili's in Plymouth, uh, Minnesota, informed me that if I'm not fully vaccinated, I need to wear a mask the entire shift. I run around all day, you know, serving tables. I can't breathe through that thing. And not only that. I'm just not selling out my values anymore. It's led me to the brink of death too many times. I just can't sell them out. And uh, so what happened is I called up earlier and said, Hey, Kim, um, I, uh, my daughter was sent home early from school yesterday because she has a fever and um, COVID symptoms. And I just wanted to make sure, hey, am I still okay to work? I don't, you know, I got a little stuffy nose. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable and so she she informed me she said well you're fully vaxxed right no nobody asked me nope See, i don't know why you're assuming i am are you assuming my vaccination status rah anyway so i said no and she's like well then you need to be wearing a mask and I, so i said well that's a bummer and we hung up and i called back just a few minutes later and said you know Kim, I wasn't aware that that was um, a condition of my employment. Pardon the shaking again. I, I, you know, had I known, I probably would have turned down the position because minimum wage isn't worth, worth muzzling myself over, right? And, um, dude, she got so spiteful. I've never been treated like such a piece of shit. By somebody who I'm just going to um, adult to adult to try and solve an issue. So I call up and I said, hey, Kim, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking since we spoke last. And um, I have PTSD and can't wear a mask. It wrecks me. It's a shame. I'm embarrassed. But I can't do it. And uh, I said, if that's a deal breaker for you, I'm going to need you to fire me because um, my values won't let me quit on that account. And um, she informed me that I would be getting fired or I would be getting let go, but I'm not going to get fired because then I can collect unemployment. She said, what we're going to do is write you up for insubordination. And you'll be fired for insubordination. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm glad I don't work there anymore, but holy shit, I needed that money. Um, I never wanted to collect unemployment. That, that I hadn't even thought about unemployment. My goal is to get a job that respects me. And um, she just treated me like a sleazeball. There's no reason for it. She acted like I was trying to pull one over on her by asking her to fire me. What, because I don't want to quit? Get out of here with that. Dude, sociopathic. That's what it was. It was just shameful, man. Like, I said, hey, can I call you back in a minute? Oh, well, we're on lunch, so no. We'll just part ways. Fine. Fine. 